Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna talk about something extraordinary and extraordinary leap. That's not even a word. Extraordinary and extraordinary leap. <laughs> We're gonna talk about something good today. The Marcus Miller. Shut up, I'm not in the Hobo post. In here. Right. So today we're gonna talk about this is a boo. For all those you know about the booze, that's what this is. This is a boo, Marcus Miller. And when I say boo, what do you mean by that? Well, some Marcus Millers are made in Japan, some in Mexico. This is Japan. This is one of the first Marcus Millers. If you can read a serial number, it says boo. What's so good about this base? <laughs> what is not good about you? What is not good about you, girl? Mm -hmm. um, it has the tilt, like the old 77s. Um, Skunk has that. Um, has the fender tuners. I put them on. It has a bad, the bad A bridge. This is the two. Um, this is loaded with a all deer Z mode. Oh, I'm missing a screw right there. What happened to this screw? <laughs> Look, I don't know. I'll find it. All right, so we're going to tune it up first. Just as soon as my snort starts working. Uh-huh, see? Now, I want to talk about this too while I'm at it. So I bought this snort offline and it's troublesome. It's beginning to be an issue and close to a problem. Why is that? Well, for some reason it's eating up batteries. Why is it doing that? I don't know. It's not good for me because I could be on a gig or you could be on a gig and all of a sudden it goes out. That is not good because if you hear something going really, really wrong, you need to correct it. All right, um, on the next, either during the song or after the song. Either way, it needs to be corrected. So I'm gonna put a new battery in here. And this is not the first time it done it did that. I know it's what we're talking about, the bass, but some things you need to know too. Okay. I think this is kind of a defect. I don't need I don't need anything on my gig that works sometimes. That's why I kick, I kind of take my amps and I leave them on for a half a day or sometime a day just to see if they'll hold out. All right, so it looks pretty good. Now let me tell you about the controls. So you got volume and volume, and then you got high mids, low mids, and then treble and then bass, and then you have a three-way cut switch. And that little thing right there, that's a light. When you plug it in, it turns blue to let you know your battery's still working. That's all dear, baby. That's all dear, baby. That's all dear. Okay, I just snuffed that. I know David would like that. He's like, wow, he said to me, uh, uh, said my name a lot of times. All right, so I'm coming through my Andrew Goucher Pro Amp 1000 and my 151 Mark Base. See the blue light came on? Woohoo! You better go, boy. Now, let's talk about the base. First of all, it's a Marcus Miller. It's made in Japan. Uh, this is not the crafted one. This is made, all right? There's a difference. All right, so the weight, I would give it every bit close to nine I might be cheating a little bit but it's super super light super light um, gloss neck gloss body um, has his name on the top of the headstock I changed the tuners and put fender tuners on it the tuners that come on is okay but I really have the fender tuners because they lock a lot harder um, as far as the craftsmanship of this look I said the craftsmanship the craftsmanship the crafts, craftsmanship of, <laughs> of this base is unbelievable. Un unbelievable. I I just wanted to go through it. All right, so 
So I have EM, the old EMGs. These EMGs are from the 80s. I normally keep an old set around because I always wanted to see what they sound like in the new stuff. So these are from the 80s. So I want you guys to really listen to the combination that the 80s and the now have what they do when they come together. First we're gonna do, like I said, the first two knobs is front pickup and rear pickup. So let's do that. Everything is off. Okay, we're gonna take the switch, three-way switch, okay, take it to the back, turn everything else back to the uh, other direction, and turn the rear pickup first. Oh, and first we're gonna turn the mute off. A lot of people ask me, what does that little chrome thing do? Um, Marcus uses it to lay his hand on because he don't come way out here and do this. So Marcus lays his hands on me. I do pretty much the same thing. Um, does it do anything? Uh, I, it stands there. <laughs> Look, and it looks good. All right. Let's take uh, the switch to the middle. All the way to the front. Now with the all deer Z mode, um, I can go inside the Z mode and hit it and it actually go to eight settings, eight to ten settings. This is the setting that the, the company sent me. So I haven't touched the setting in this thing yet. Okay, so let's go to the front pickup and see what the front pickup sounds like. All the way to the, switch all the way to the back. Now, what you're listening to now is the 80s, maybe the 70s EMGs. Now, let's turn both pickups on and the switch all the way to the back. In the middle. All right, all the way to the front. dialing in some stuff. So first thing I want to dial in is high mids. Now the bass carry mids itself. The, the Marcus Miller carry mids. Alright. The 77 is a whole big difference between the 76 and the 78. That 77 is right in the middle when it comes to weight. So that's why I love this bass because it's not a lot, not a lot of shoulder pain. Uh -oh. It's not a lot of shoulder pain, but I tell you, I tell you what, and that. <laughs> Look, I must have talked about it too bad because it jumped out of my hand. I don't want to deal with you anymore. That's what it's saying. I don't want to deal with you anymore. You, you, you say bad things about us. <laughs> Look, I only say what's true. So you gotta remember this bass has been sitting out here now in the heat pretty much over an hour and a half. So if she's gonna do anything, she's gonna do it now. All right, so we got the top mids at D10. Both pickups. We got the switch all the way up. Now, the strings I got 
side up here are these are pure blues i normally use sit but for this i want to use pure blues all right so now that we have the mids both of the mids at half and half let's go to the trouble take the trouble to detail bass into D tip mode. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the switch in the middle. Of course when we go all the way to the front we get this mode. is I really like to go inside of it and start changing some of the frequencies because when you start changing some of the frequencies the mid cut or the center cut starts voicing itself a lot differently with the Z mode. I mean I like the standard this is called the standard setting that you get when you get the Z mode. To me it's 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 there but it's I think I can hear I, look, I think I can hear different stuff if I go inside and start changing stuff. Okay, so let's take let's take the trouble to three quarters. I'm really liking the OEMG. But once you go inside that, that little switch in, inside, you can boost stuff up a lot quicker. Right now, I just got a standard setting. I keep saying that because I want to hear what standard setting sounds like when they send it to you. And what can I do with it? If I just throw it right in and go on stage. So you need to do that, folks. Before you, before you start going inside and changing stuff, always see what the standard you can do with the standard. Because whatever you do with the standard, if you go inside... You have something. You have the other stuff a lot quicker. It comes to you a lot quicker, but you always know how to 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 use the standard. Does that make any sense? Yeah, okay, it does. I don't know what y'all, but I think this bass sounds pretty good. Rear pickup. This 
space the way I got it set right now. Like all my settings right here are pretty, oh, the mids are pretty much off. I got everything to like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. 9, 30, 10 o'clock. <laughs> to get a vibe of what I want to pull from this bass. Now, if I take the switch all the way to the front, that's when this that's when things sort of happen. Really loud. Marcus Miller. Wow. The boo bass. Wow. What a beautiful piece of item. Wow. Keep praying for us, folks, at the Whole Depot. Keep praying for the Queen and I. We'll keep praying for you guys a day. Look, a day. Um, and who did? A day. A day. Once again, guys. Um, one note can hit. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, my CD just came out. If you go on Spotify, uh, Amazon, or all the, the the sites that we got out right now, you can pick up my Forever Love CD. It just came out today. Of course, you can always go on my Facebook and check out some of my my band live performances and stuff like that. But the CD is unbelievable and good. <laughs> Look. And good. So once again, guys, shout out, out, out. We out of here. This is my Marcus Miller, uh, Japan. Boo bass. Pace. Man, that bass is incredible. Look, and good. <laughs>